Hello everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Scassy TV. Now some of you may know me as the guy who ported the PlayStation 2 emulator to some degree of success on the Mac, and now we've got a working version of Magic Arena on the Mac. Yeah, we stunt, all we do is stunt, all we do is stunt, yeah, we stunt, all we do is stunt, all we do is Now if this is a fully functioning version of Arena, Everything works, and there are no graphical glitches, or any glitches for that matter, as far as my testing is done. Uh, everything seems to work smooth, and yes, full screen is possible. It works fine, I just prefer to use it on a windowed mode, because you know, when I'm using OBS, if I have multiple windows open, I just feel like windowed mode is more convenient. Now, I am going to talk about the graphic settings and everything, but before that, let's take a look at the gameplay, just so you can see the performance that you get when you're emulating this on your Mac. So I'm, I'm going to play around a magical, I'm not really going to play as such, I'm going to just start the game, cast one spell, and scoop. Just so you can see how the textures look, and how the, every, if everything looks smooth and all that. So let's go check out one quick game of magic, and then we'll come back to the rest of the configuration. Emulating everything. Now, now we're looking at the battlefield and everything looks clean and neat, and there's no, no weird textures or anything. Opponent's picking his hand, then we pick our hand, we're going to play one spell, and then scoop. Yeah, this this seems to be alright, because we have a uh, red mana and we can shock, so yeah, let's shock them and scoop. I'll wait for opponent to do their thing, and uh, yep, there you go, one scries, and we are on with our game. Opponent plays land, pass the turn, we play our mountain, we shock them, and we scoop. Look, let's shock them, rock them. And yep, that's about it. That's all we want to do. Let's concede and... The opponent must be so confused right now, but yeah. Well, that was a tiny tech demo. That was just to show that, you know, Arena is working, it's working fine. Now, before we talk about anything more, let's talk about getting Arena installed on your Mac. To get Arena installed on your Mac, you need two things. First, being a copy, well, the most up-to-date copy of Magic Arena you can get. And two, the Weinstein wrapper that are provided in the downloads. Now, the most up-to-date copy for Arena can be from a friend or from the virtual machine that you were using to run Arena before. So if you're going to trash that virtual machine, make sure you make a copy of that folder. You know, in your program files or wherever you've installed Arena, you will have your Wizards of the Coast folder. You need to copy that folder. Because right now, Wine does have problems with running applications with Net Framework 4 or above on them, if I'm not mistaken. And so it's unable to launch the Arena Launcher or the Arena Setup properly. So if you got a fully installed version of Arena, you can just head straight onto it. Now let's begin installing Arena. Step 1, download and extract the MTGA file. Right. Now the installation is pretty straightforward. So you get the MTGA as the file that I've attached. You download it and you extract it and you get this. This is your Wineskin wrapper. This is the Magic Arena wrapper. This right here is your Magic Arena pre-installed data files, which you've copied from your previous virtual machine or from a friend. You open that up, you see all that TGXE files and your data and everything? Yeah, that's all you need. So now what you do is you select your MTGA Wineskin wrapper. You right-click it, go to Show Package Contents, and it's going to open up. And let's see if I can make this new window here be easier. You click your show package contents for your MTGA there, you're going to see this, you're going to see contents in drive C, so you open drive C, and then you'll see program files, program data users, windows, you go to program files, and then you're going to see all this. The Wizards of the Coast folder will not be there, just made it, so you open your Wizards of the Coast folder, and then you drop MTGA onto it, just drop it onto it there like that, and you let it copy. Now this is a fresh installed version of Arena, so the data files have not been downloaded yet, which is why you see it's only 477 megabytes. When it's completely done, it's going to be a lot bigger. It's going to be about 2 gigabytes, but Arena is going to download the files after it checks for files, so it's going to do it itself. Now that the data files are copied, you go back to your wrapper, and don't worry about the different icon. This is the first wrapper I made, and then I just gave it a little icon to it before I uploaded it to the zip file, they're both the same thing. So all you gotta do is, uh, you go to your MTGA wrapper, right click show package contents again, and then open wine skin, and you'll be greeted with this boy right here, and then you go to advanced, and then there's this thing called windows.exe, that's where you gotta target your MTG executable file, 
So you go to the windows.exe, hit browse, and then go to program files again under drive C, and then go to Wizards of the Coast, MTGA, and you point it to your MTGA.exe, not the launcher, not the Unity one, just the MTGA.exe, and you hit choose. And that's about it. And then you close it, and then go back, you see your wrapper, and then you just open it. Give it a couple of seconds and it will load up. If you're running the wrapper for the when you click show package contents for the first time, if it's the first time running mine, it might say please wait, taking a bit of time. It says please wait, uh wrapper's busy. It might happen. Just give it some time and it will show package contents. That will work. Then you just wait for it, you see a black screen, and uh it's gonna load up. There you go. Loads up shows preparing assets and uh here we are on arena. And we are on Arena and everything works. And now when you are in Arena, make sure a few things. I just want to point out a couple of things about the graphic settings. So if you go to adjust settings or just options right there. And if you go to graphics. Now I'm pretty fine running everything on low because, you know, that's fine. I mean, the textures all look good. It's a clean game. So as long as I can read the cards and everything, I'm fine with it. So that's okay. But, uh... Make sure that your anti-aliasing is off because if it's on, this happens. Do you see that? Do you see that? Everything disappears. Everything goes black. So make sure your anti-aliasing is set to low. Your resync doesn't really matter. It doesn't really affect the performance quality. I've set it to custom and I've set everything on low, 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 low. Uh, might work on high. It would be a problem. But make sure your anti-aliasing is off because you need that to be off. And like I said, full screen works too. Clock it into full screen. goes full screen. Clock. And, uh, yeah, that's why everything works, uh, change the screen rest, and that is Magic Arena working on the Mac. It is beautiful. And that is all for this time, guys. I hope this video has been useful, if, especially if you're trying to run Arena on a virtual machine on a Mac, and it took way too much resources and bogged your computer down, making it impossible to stream. This might be really useful for you. It's been for me. And I'm glad we got this work in our mags. But until next time, this is me saying uh, peace and stay awesome. And if you like what I do, feel free to follow me on Twitch. It's the real deal on Twitch. I stream a bit of arena every now and then. And I'll be back with more tech goodness. Yeah, we stunt. All we do is stunt. All we do is stunt. Yeah, we stunt. All we do is stunt. All we do is stunt.